Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for Thursday, August 2nd, 2012. Our Geek Out is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. Take control of your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform. GoToAssist's proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. And for a free 30-day trial, you can just head over to GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PERILLO. Microsoft Community Video Tips campaign starts today. If you weren't publishing tips to your own YouTube channel, Microsoft's offering an opportunity for you to do it for them. This is something that I didn't ever propose to Microsoft. I did propose doing something like this to other tech companies, or I guess I, I pitched the idea to them. It's good to see Microsoft's doing something like this, although I, I wonder if you would go as far as to give Microsoft that kind of content. I mean, maybe it's a good way of, of growing an audience. Maybe you, you don't yet have an audience on YouTube and you're looking to, to grow an audience. And I know I get approached by many a geek wondering, Chris, how do I get an audience? Well, it's one of the reasons why in the past I've opened up the Locker Gnome YouTube channel to other content publishers. And I'm more than happy to do that again. I mean, I've just got to find the right people who are talented in front of the camera and love talking about the world of geekery. What's the best beer for you? I discovered that I'm a fan of the darker beers. I had one that you uh, saw me uh, drink, or you didn't see me actually drink it, in the vlog a few weeks back uh, when I was uh, visiting Bob uh, with Matthew in San Diego through Comic-Con. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I couldn't even tell you what type. All I know is it's dark. That's all I need to know to know that I like that kind of beer. It tasted like coffee. I mean, it, it, beer, yes, but it had like this hint of coffee-ishness. Coffee-ishness. That's a great new word there, Chris. So what's the best beer out there? Well, what's best for me may not be best for you, although I'm looking for more recommendations of dark beers that kind of taste like coffee-ishness. Is the world ready for virtual reality? I've played a few VR games. Uh, I remember going to an amusement park as a kid and you could strap on this gigantic helmet thing and stand on this little, I don't know what you would call it, um, like a treadmill that was like omnidirectional and walk around and shoot things and it was uh, gimmicky. I just don't know if VR is as exciting for me. I, I, I'm all about AR, augmented reality. Uh, that is, uh, you know, holding up a, a smartphone or a camera, maybe even at some point using your glasses or some kind of um, on-screen device you know, that only I could see on my side of the glass because I wear glasses. Uh, AR is just far more practical. And unless I saw something completely different with VR, I don't know if I'm all that inclined to change my mind. It's, it's interesting and it's fun, but... It's still a little out there. Have you found a VR experience that you love? How to add and use credit cards on Google Wallet. One of the things that I was most excited about when I received my Google Nexus 7, and when I say received, Google did not send it to me. I had to spend my money. I didn't use Google Wallet, although I obviously have an account. I've got a Google account. Well, I don't know if that's obvious, but I have an account. And I could use the Google Wallet account at one of my favorite coffee joints. Uh, just kind of swipe, and then I'm paid up. I think I, I may go that route. Although I, I, I'm not really taking the Google Nexus 7 out of the house I, as frequently as I could. I have small pockets, I guess. This fits just fine, but anything bigger than that, it's like, I need bigger pants. I'm not going to gain weight just to carry around a bigger gadget. I know some of you might, but I'm very happy with, no, I'm not very happy with the size I am. I'm actually trying to get smaller. I think if I stick myself in the dryer, where am I going with this? I, I'm just saying Google Wallet is a great experience for what it is today. Managing your payments centrally through one account and Google wants to be that for you. Have you guys had good experiences or bad experiences with Google Wallet? Valve's source engine runs faster on Linux than it does on Windows. Uh, now granted, this is coming from one of our Linux heads on LockerGnome.com and that's fine. Uh, he's got the statistics uh, in the background uh, to back him up. Uh, this is interesting, if only because most people buy Windows because of the games, right? But uh, if the software runs better on a platform that's more affordable, 
what's going to keep you tied to Microsoft's ecosystem? Other than maybe DirectX games, which they may be going another route. OpenGL games that are, well, almost by their very nature, built for cross-platform gaming. You would want to save money if you're playing the same game and you get a higher perf? Come on. Um, yeah, this is a... This is interesting news, um, and, and something that uh, I think many gamers in our audience will be happy about. Uh, uh, yes, I game as well, uh, but this is the kind of game that I play. I've been addicted to this. I think I mentioned it in an upcoming vlog. Let me find it. I got so many apps installed here. Circus Atari! I'm playing this stupid game, and it's, it's stupid, but fun, um, and uh, it's buggy. That's why it's stupid. How to remotely deactivate Google Wallet on your Android phone. So, Google Wallet's great. So long as you're the only person who has access to your account. If you don't wipe out your phone when you lose it, you're using the wrong phone. Or you're using the wrong service. Or you just don't know how to do it. That's the worst thing that can happen. I mean, you, you think, hey, I lose a computer? You're freaking out, right? Because you got all your stuff on it. Well, um, these things are computers too. Bill would force patent trolls to pay defendants legal bills. That sentence began and ended with the word bill, but bill we're talking about is not a guy named Bill. I mean, it's an actual bill, like that could become a law. I'm just a bill, yes, I'm only a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Anybody get the reference to that? Or am I just too old for you? Well, that would certainly stop patent trolling. It Probably wouldn't stop Apple because they have more money than God. Google Fiber. Why meaningful broadband competition is so hard. No doubt. And I guess it's not a serial after. I thought it was. I, I was going to the grocery store. I was like, do you have Google Fiber? And they were looking at me like, what? I don't even have true broadband competition where I live. I'm stuck with... I mean, it's a fast connection. It's just expensive. And, and a, a cable network connection is not the same as a DSL network connection. <laughs> like, ugh. that's that's a non-scientific chart. This is this is how fast I'm going. This is how fast I could ever possibly go with DSL, and I can't get anything in between or beyond that because of where I live. Facebook says 8.7 percent are fake users. Interesting. Not really a shock. Uh, I mean, I'd imagine that a lot of users on any social platform are not real. Unless, of course, it's a very tight-knit group, uh, just a handful of people, then most of them would likely be real. But uh, it's easy enough to set up a new Facebook account, just like it's easy to set up a new YouTube account, just like it's easy to set up a Twitter account. Google Plus, it's, yeah, just as easy, but they already dumped the whole world into Google Plus, so everyone's already here, kind of, there, but even though they don't know they're really there on Google. Did you know you had a Google Plus account? It sounded like I said Goo Goo Plus. Smart headlights let drivers see through rain and snow. I love technology and hearing about technology that can save lives. LockerGnome.net user Average Boy writes, I'm in the mood to watch these good old classic movies from the 90s and 2000s. Any suggestions of your favorites? Can't really go wrong. Just understand that the movies that we watched back then are nothing like the movies you would watch today. Um, they would seem to move slower. I mean, there are exceptions to every rule, certainly. I tried going back to watch classic episodes that I grew up with. And I, granted, I grew up long before the 90s happened. And I found myself needing to tune out. Um, boring. I mean, they were exciting back then, but boring by today's entertainment standards. Standard Standards. I'm just... Bleh. Standards. LockerGnome.net user iTechnologies writes, Will my ping or latency decrease with the distance I am from my router? Unless you're, like, on the other side of the globe, it's probably not going to make that big of a deal. I mean, if your network cabling is up to snuff and you've got a decent piece of hardware on either end, I mean, you're... Assumedly in the house, and I don't think a few feet is really going to make that much of a difference. I mean, in relation to your home network. Now, in terms of your home network and the rest of the world, well, that's a completely different story. LockerGnome.net user Gregory Fire writes, Do people smell in their dreams? You guys ask some weird questions, but that's okay. Keep asking questions. You know, we were trying to pick them out of the YouTube thread, but sometimes it's difficult to pick out your questions from the YouTube thread because you're not asking them or you're asking questions that are good but they may have already been answered and we'd hate to answer the same questions day in and day out. 
I was not expecting that I would answer a question about being able to smell in the dreams, and I don't really have an answer for it. I mean, it's still a question. LockerGnome.net user TJ Wallace writes, What's the best laptop-friendly Linux distro? Mm, I think everybody has their favorite. I would be inclined to say Ubuntu? Possibly uh, Mint? Maybe some Banaka? I'm kidding. Banaka's not a distribution. We'll see you later. Uh, you know, I tried going back and watching clack, 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 clack.